Hello and welcome to the second video in our World Cup vocabulary series. England have qualified from the group stage and are going to face Germany on Sunday. So we've made a new video to celebrate. The vocabulary is a little bit more advanced than last time. And we're going to start by looking at the scoring vocabulary. So first of all, the score. What is the score? Well, the score is the record of goals that show which team is winning. So a typical question when you walk into the room halfway through the game, you say, what's the score? And hopefully on Sunday, the answer will be, it's 4-0 to England. The final score is the end result. And we also have the verb to score. The verb to score means to put the ball in the back of the net or kick the ball into the goal. So hopefully the commentator on Sunday will be saying Rooney scored a beautiful goal. The German keeper didn't have a hope of saving that. He didn't have a chance of stopping the ball. To win, lose and draw. If England score four goals and Germany score one or none, England will win the game and Germany will lose. But if Germany on the off chance score two goals and England only score two goals as well, they will draw. The game will be undecided and they will have to play extra time. And if England beat or defeat Germany, then Germany are the losers and Germany suffer a defeat at the hands of England. England are the victors, they are victorious. Moving on to the next slide, we have to concede. The meaning of concede is to have a goal scored against you. So if England score four goals, or when England score four goals, then Germany will concede four goals. An own goal is when uh, a player puts the ball past his own keeper. And the lead can be used in a number of different sentences. When England score their first goal, they will take the lead or they will go into the lead. Afterwards, after that point of going into the lead, they are in the lead, and hopefully they will stay in the lead until the end of the game. This means that Germany won't score an equaliser. This is when England score, and then Germany score, so the scores are level or equal. And England will knock them out of the World Cup. They will send them packing. They will send them home. So moving on to the last slide, a bit of football jargon, some specialist language. The first paragraph reads, England are going to play one-touch football and keep possession, playing the ball up to Rooney, who is a prolific goal scorer with a clinical finish. One-touch football means every player touches the ball once, it's quick passing, quick moving, and keep possession so they don't lose the ball to the other team. They'll play the ball up to Rooney, who is a prolific goal scorer. He scores lots and lots of goals with a clinical finish. He always finishes the shot. He always takes his chances. The next paragraph. Germany will have to put 11 men behind the ball and hope they can get lucky with a long ball game. They may be dangerous on the counter-attack because they are strong in the air and have a big physical presence, but they won't be any match for the skill of the England side. So they have to put 11 men behind the ball, no one attacking, everyone defending, and hope they can get lucky with the long ball game. They won't play short passes, they will kick the ball the length of the field and hope their strikers can get the ball. They may be dangerous on the counter-attack, so they will get the ball in defence and run with the ball um, up the pitch and hope that they can catch the English defence unawares. Strong in the air means they are good at headering. They are good in the air. And they have a big physical presence, means each player is strong, holds his ground well, and can be strong in the tackle as well. But there won't be any match for the skill of England, 
So even though they have a big physical presence, even though they are strong and fast, England will be too skillful. Finally, the last paragraph, England will get stuck in and run the German defence ragged. Gerard switched in the play to Lampard, who will play a through ball to Rooney. Rooney will take a great touch, nutmeg two defenders, use his pace to skin the third, and then bang the ball home with his sweet right foot. One can only hope our goalkeeper doesn't make a howler at the other end, but pulls off a few great saves instead. So get stuck in means to really attack, to really play with your heart on your sleeve, to play with emotion, and to play hard. To run the German defence ragged means that uh, the German defence will be completely out of energy because the English attack is running rings around them. They're moving too quick and too fast and in too many directions the Germans just won't be able to cope. Switching the play means putting or passing the ball from one side of the pitch all the way to the other side of the pitch. And then Lampard will play the through ball. This means a pass through the centre of the defence, which splits the defence wide open, so Rooney can get in behind the defence and score a goal. Rooney will take a great touch. He will accept the ball with great skill. And nutmeg two defenders. This is this lovely move where you have one player with his legs open, and Rooney puts the ball through one player's legs, and then nutmegs another. That means through two players' legs, and then he skins another with his pace, so he goes round the player before the player has the opportunity to tackle him, and then bang the ball home is to score a goal with his sweet right foot, because he has a wonderful right foot. Um, one can only hope, however, our keeper doesn't make a howler, otherwise known as a Robert Green, a mistake, letting the ball roll into the net. Um, but pulls off a few great saves, manages to make some very good saves in the style of Gordon Banks. So, that brings us to the end of the video. All I can say is that having made this video, I really do hope England trounce or trash Germany, beat them comprehensively. Um, thanks for watching, and click on the arrow uh, if you'd like to watch another video with football vocab. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.